Hello Team Leo, it's Empire333 here with your love reading. Welcome back and welcome if you're new. If you're new, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter placements. You can pick whichever side you're on. We're picking up on different people's energies. So even if I say Leo, I could be talking through the Cross Watchers energies, okay? So Leo, I'm doing a free reading contest. If you're interested, watch at the end of this video and you can enter here on YouTube, okay? So I hope you all are well. And we're going to start off with the Psychic Tarot of the Heart, okay? Already pre-shuffled. All these cards flew out, of course, for your energies. And then we'll get into the other decks. All the decks I use are down below, okay, Leo? So what I'm feeling here is that this is a two of cups energy guys okay this is about you feeling a soulmate connection with someone else and i do feel like your person obviously has feelings for you because this is mutual feelings okay so but what i'm getting here is that your person has issues with commitment committing to you um, whatever that means to you, because commitment can be different for each person. So what I feel like is your person has different ideas of what a commitment should be, of what, you know, like the dynamics of the connection is what I'm picking up on, okay? So you could be seeing a commitment in a different light, and they're seeing it in a different light, okay? And what I feel like is that you've been worrying a lot about this in the past, but you're coming out of those energies, okay? Um, and as much as you miss your person, to those who miss them, they miss you too, okay? But the point is here is like you both couldn't meet eye to eye, and it has a lot to do with your person, okay? This is like the Nine of Swords. So this is about you losing sleep over it. This is about you missing the person and i do feel like for some of you there's no communication between you and your person but what i feel like is like throughout this you're learning something leo you're learning a lot about yourself and you're learning that you're no longer gonna wait for someone who's closed off okay when it comes to commitment so what I feel like is like you were hanging on. I feel like you were waiting for your person to change, but you're no longer waiting because your person was really holding back. This is the Four of Pentacles in traditional um, Rider weight Tarot, okay? So this is about someone who was holding back, and it's because they were noncommittal. For some reason, this person and you couldn't get to that commitment. And you're, you've been thinking in the past, okay, like, you know, my wish didn't come true. This was my wish with this person. Um, like I said, whatever commitment means to you or whatever it means to take it to the next level, your person was really holding back from you when it comes to that. I don't see like this person um, I feel like this person kind of got stuck when it comes to this pattern with you and you felt stuck because you're just like, why? Isn't this person opening up to me? And some of you caught, could have gotten a glimpse of this person opening up, but as soon as they open up, they were out the door. Do you know what I mean? That kind of energy, like, okay, they open up a little. You're like, okay, it's going good. They're, they're making improvement, and all of a sudden, it would be the same thing over again, okay? So you do have someone who has issues with commitment or that sees commitment in a different light than you. And what I'm getting here is throughout this whole experience, Leo, you are, this is about your soul journey, how you're evolving, how you're seeing yourself as light, in the light. So in a way, it's like you could have blamed yourself. You could have said, you know, is it me? Why does this keep happening to me? For some of you, the per people in your life, like the romantic uh, connections you've had it's always the same story it could be like why do I always attract non-committal people why is it the same pattern with every single person you're learning a lesson here Leo you're learning that what it is within you that you think either you don't deserve it in the past or it's like 
the confidence is lacking. So you could have insecurities is what I'm picking up on that has to do with being in a relationship for some reason. This could stem from the past. They could, this could stem from other lifetimes. But here you are learning a lesson throughout whatever experience this is. This is about self-love, valuing yourself, knowing that you deserve it. I'm seeing people doing mirror work, which is awesome. I love mirror work. Telling yourself how beautiful you are, how deserving you are, how much value you have, okay? Saying how amazing you are in the mirror. So whoever's doing that, it's really helping, okay? So affirmations too, using affirmations. You're going through a time of enlightenment here. And this has to do with your soul journey, okay? There's light coming in. And I feel like a lot of you are connecting to spirit more now. And you're being, this is the animal spirit deck, you guys, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that. And you are rising above all this. And you're learning how to love yourself more, okay? And value yourself. So this is the gazelle. So you're being super aware of your surroundings now. It's like, it's like no BS anymore. You're very um, observant now of other people's energy. And you're like, I'm no longer letting any toxic energy into my life. I'm no longer letting people into my life that do not deserve to be in my life, okay? Who do not deserve my energy. So I feel like you're rising above that. You're not thinking anymore of like, okay, I'm going to, um, um, my, I'm, you're not thinking anymore of the disappointments. You're just focusing on yourself and it's beautiful, okay? Because you're rising up. Whatever you're doing, Leo, that's where you're going. It's great. So this is the Illuminati Tarot. So let's look at the first person's energies for Leo. Whoa, okay. For Leo. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Let's see what this is. This person that you've been dealing with, Leo, they're moving out of this deceitful energy. So I feel like this person kept sneaking away in and out of your life. Um, and the thing is, is that there's something here that is keeping this person from... Well, how should I say this? There's some kind of money involved is what I'm getting, okay? And for some of you, it could be... Um, I feel like your person is connected to something because of finances, okay? So it could, they could be connected to someone or something because of finances. They're focusing so much on their money that it's kind of like I think they went within with the money or they could be tied down because of money, okay? And they're trying to come out of this. So your person could possibly be tied to family or like a home situation where it's like, they can't move forward because of it. And that's why they're stuck there, okay? So you prob they probably, it's like they're stuck in a situation which is a commitment, okay? It could be any form of commitment. It could be child support. It could be, you know, um, you know shared assets, whatever that is to you. And that's why it's like they can't, start anything with you it's kind of like they're already committed so it's like they can't commit to you I feel like this is a past energy and that's why this person can't rise above it so you see how the emperor here the emperor here is in reverse that means that this person is egocentric it's like all they're thinking about is their needs and not really their desires okay so it could be this person really desires you but what they're doing in the physical, it didn't measure up to what their desires are. And this has to do with this person feeling always a lack. So it could be like, I'm stuck in this situation because of money. And that's why I can't move forward with you. This person, I feel, didn't tell you this. They could have led you on for a long time. 
and they kept things at bay. It's kind of like, okay, yeah, I want you. Yeah, you know, I'm attracted to you or whatever it is. But this emperor here is not being an emperor. They're being the reverse. It's kind of like um, they didn't get there. And it's because they're not, it's like as much as they want to come out of this situation, it's like they're locked, they're locked down is what I'm getting. They're locked down to that situation. So let's see the other person's energy, which is tarot. And this could be someone who you thought was your, you know, your, your um, divine counterpart, like your twin flame or a soulmate. Oh, all right. Ooh, okay. All right. So I just feel like, Leo, this is you. This is you closing a chapter. This has been a really hard chapter in your life to close out, but you've learned. I feel like you both, you are learning, okay? And this is about, because things were not moving forward in this. You've been waiting for this person for a long time for this past energy. And you're just like, oh, no, wait. things are not moving forward in my life. My life is stuck because of someone else. Because someone else was not making the right moves, they were not, I have no victory here. I'm stuck. I'm not having success. You could have felt like this person is blocking your success, Leo. And it's kind of like because you were so hung up on them and waiting for them to change and whatever situation they're in, um, make the next, you know, step to a commitment or whatever. And you're like, I'm no longer doing this. This person's got me stuck. I'm not going to do this anymore to myself. And that's why you're not, I feel like you're not even interested anymore. You're not interested because this person you know caused a lot of imbalance in your life. You're not interested to reconcile from them. You're not interested to take it off. And you know because this person was not being honest with you. Things are still unclear to you of how or why or what was going on in this person's life. For some of you, you don't even know their home situation, really. Okay? Okay. They could have been living with, you know, someone else or an ex or whatever, you know, and you didn't even know. So you're like, now you're like, you know what? I don't even know, need to know the truth. I'm just going to love myself now. I'm ending this because I'm not putting any more energy into this person. It's kind of like you feel like it's a lost case. Yeah, because your person wasn't making any moves. You expected this person to change around, make a bold move. Because what I feel like is like your person seemed to you, like they put on this picture for you, like they can do anything, they got it all. Maybe like this person, it's like they were very aggressive, passionate. So you felt like they would have made a move, but you were disappointed. And this person ha is not planning on making a move. I do feel like this, as much as this person is trying to get out of their situation, they're still stuck there. And it's because they're not rising. They're not rising like the emperor should. They're being passive. They're not making you an offer. Some of you could have been promised by this person. Hmm. <laughs> okay, hold on, guys. I feel like this person... It's like they feel the same for you. Like I said earlier, it's mutual. But the problem is, is that this person doesn't know how to make the right moves. Or they know and they're not budging. Like they're just stuck in whatever they're stuck in. And I feel like this person is not evolving the way they should. Okay? Because they do feel this mutual attraction with you. And this person hasn't even apologized. For some of you, this person really hurt you. And they haven't even apologized to you. So what I'm seeing here is like someone, yeah, is feeling it, but they're not making any moves. 
they're not making any moves. I do feel like this person does want to apologize to you, but they could reach out to you. But I don't feel like they're going to make any of the right moves that you want. It's like, sorry, I'm being nosy. Yeah, this person is just focused on money. They're focused on, yep. Um, yeah, this person is just stuck um, because of stability or the lack of, okay? This has to do with money. I feel like they're not even focusing on the connection. I do feel like they realize, you know, this is a this is a mutual connection, but it's like there's no balance, there's no meeting of the emotions is what I want to say. Yeah. I was waiting for this card to come out. This is about someone who is tied down to another situation, okay? So, um, sorry guys, but everybody's riding their motorcycles today. Um, this is about someone being tied down, okay? And I feel like this person, yeah, this is very karmic. And this person... This is very karmic, okay? And this person, and I shuffled a lot, but Aries kind of got the same thing. I don't know if you're dealing with the Aries or you got Aries placements. This is about someone who is tied down to a karmic situation, okay? And they need healing. They need to get away from that, but now it's like, I, Spirit is saying, now it's not going to happen. Um, this person is just focused on their money. I don't feel like they're going to make any moves. Okay, yeah. I, I don't feel like you're going to budge either because you are too heartbroken from this person. They really disappointed you, and your ego is, like, not going to let you want this person again. I feel like your ego is like, they hurt me, they did this to me, they did that to me. I don't feel like... I feel like you're moving on, Leo. I don't see you waiting around for this person. Yeah. Yep. Yep. This is like um, a lost opportunity. This person messed it up. It's like they lost an opportunity with you. And it has a lot to do with their coldness. I feel like this person was hot one minute, cold one minute. It's like that kind of energy. And the thing is, is that Regardless whether you want to be with this person or not, you have to um, you have to forgive them eventually, okay? Because for you, if you're ready for new love, is what Spirit is saying, you have to forgive this person. Not verbally. You don't have to tell them. Do it within... Yeah, okay? I'm going to pick one more card. Yeah. Yeah. This person has an issue with emotions. They're just stuck. This is the hangman. They are just stuck wherever they're at. Okay? Stuck in a karmic um, situation. So this is a power of love cards. Freedom. You are releasing any self-imposed restrictions or perceived limitations through the loving energy of openness. So I feel like you set yourself free from this person, Leo. And you're doing a good job. Whoever's focusing on healing and taking care of themselves, self-love, affirmations, mantras, praying, whatever you're doing, you're moving into freedom. Spontaneity, you move beyond the constraints of the mind and freely and lovingly embrace new situations. Like I said, I feel like spirit wants to bring you new and you're moving into new. But you got to be open for it, okay? A new love energy. Um, 
So what I feel like is the reason why they're saying spontaneity is because you plan so much with this person, okay? And yeah, it could have been because this person planned with you. They could have said, oh, you know, give me some time. I will, you know, you know, come around or whatever. Maybe they made you promises they broke. But the thing is here is like spirit saying live now in the present. Um, don't think of like future like, oh, this has to happen at this time. I need to be married at this time. Oh, wow. Spirit just, like, really popped my ear. A lot of you are saying that. I want to get married by th this age. I want to, um, I don't know, have babies by this age. Whatever you're saying to yourself, don't do that to yourself. You're punishing yourself when you do that, okay? Don't let the ego tell you. That's the ego talking, okay? When you're open for new love and you're like, you know what? Universe, God, whoever, angels, ancestors, help me just be ready for that. Get me ready for that. Don't put limitations. Don't put timing on it because everything works in divine timing, okay, is what spirit is saying. Don't let yourself go down that path of expectations of time, okay? Time can really mess you up. And it could actually block, okay, is what they're saying. So don't do that, you guys. Spontaneity, that's what they mean. Just get into the energy of love and joy. You delight in the love of life and bring a spirit of fun to all that you do. That's where they want you to be at. This is what brings in new love, okay? If you want new love, this it's here is what they're saying. But you got to get in this energy, okay, of no matter what goes on around you, Getting into the vibration of joy, happiness. You delight in the love of life and bring a spirit of fun to all that you do. Having fun again. This has to do with self-love. This has to do with nurturing yourself, taking care of yourself. Not focusing on time of when things are going to happen. So don't pay attention to time, Leo. Okay, If you want that new love, um, new love energy. It could be with anybody. It could be with someone you know from the past. It could be from someone new. It doesn't matter. Spirit is saying focus on the joy, okay? Leo, I hope that this has helped you in some way. And if you want to enter the free um, love reading, it doesn't have to be love or romance, it could be anything you want, your choice. All you have to do is comment below, say whatever you want to say. Respect everybody on the platform though, okay? After your comment, write my channel name, Empire333. And subscribe if you already haven't. Hit that bell button. Turn on all your notifications. I will announce the winner. Um, you'll be notified. I'll make it an announcement um, next full moon. Okay, Leo? I wish you all the best. Take care, and I will see you all next time.